Alrighty guys, Scotland versus Spain tonight in the Euro 2024 qualifier. So I thought I would play a little friendly game on FIFA 23, but nothing is really friendly on FIFA because you want to win every single game and this guys will be no different. So here we are, we're at Hamden, it actually looks like Hamden, it's got the running pitch, it's got the running track around the pitch and um, hopefully we can perform like we're playing at Hamden. I haven't really had a great start to my FIFA 23 careers on the next gen. If you want to check out the Hearts career mode then feel free to go and do it guys. I would appreciate it. We're a couple of episodes in and unfortunately the performances haven't been fantastic but who knows maybe a nice win here maybe a nice performance here against Spain can kick start our campaign. Now, Spain, of course, they are a decent side. They are pretty good, but they're not the team. Look at that ginger. That wee ginger kid. Who the hell let their ugly face be on? Who let them be a mascot, for God's sake? Get to the back, man. What the hell is this all about? They sh those kids are ugly, man. They should be standing behind the players. I don't understand it. Get them out of sight. But anyway, as I was saying, Spain are a good team, but they're not as good as they used to be. So I think we can win. Sander Clark and Nets. Robertson, Tierney, McKenna, Henry and Hickey at the back five. Got McGregor and Jack in midfield. The old firm connection, Celtic and Rangers combining. We've got McGinn in front of those guys. And then up front, it is going to be Ryan Christie and Lyndon Dyke. So that is it. That is our team. That is our starting 11 for this game. Good starting 11, in my opinion. Obviously, we're without some key players. Craig Gordon, we're without uh, Shea Adams. But it is what it is. We know we'll, we'll make the best of a bad situation. There is the Spain team. Lining up for their wee photo, and now we'll see who's actually going to play for Spain. So it's the £70 million pound flop, Kepa. I will say that. He'll probably make every single save in this game. Got Gaia, Fernandes, Laporte, and Carafal. Uh, in front of them, it's Pedri, Rodri, and Marino. So this pretty young Spanish team. And then up front, you've got Orabalza, Aspas, and Morata. I don't know how I feel. There's John McGinn getting ready to absolutely tank the Spanish. I don't know how I feel about Morata, though. Honest to God, I mean, the guys came with a lot of hype, but he's, he's kind of failed a lot, you know, at different teams as well. He's he's had opportunities at several big clubs, and he, he's not really, you know, performed at any of them. I mean, I'm not saying he's a bad player, but I don't, I don't see Morata as this world-class striker. I really don't, and uh, hopefully he doesn't punish me for saying that. But here we go, Lyndon Dykes. Can we punish anybody? It's Ryan Jack. Jack's been brought down there. That's a joke. Oh, and Jack's injured. Fucking embarrassing. Hickey now. Getting past Gaia. Ball into the box. Oh, it's going to fall for again. And we've still, got, we've still got a man down. I think, is it Hickey that's down? Or I don't know who's down. Maybe Ryan Christie. That's not right, though. Honestly, man. How is that no free kick? Tierney now trying to chase down ass pass. We're getting an elbow to the face. Oh, a good block. But no. Spain come away with it. Great sliding tap. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's almost like the Spanish read my mate and Jack has to go off. We're going to have to bring on Lewis Ferguson. Oh well, one Rangers player is going off and a player that could have got signed for Rangers but apparently at the time wasn't deemed good enough. It's coming on. So uh, yeah, I thought we were unlucky there. We got a block, interception, then we got a sliding tackle and number 11 read that. Who is it that got the goal? Don't tell me it's Morata. It's not. It's, it's uh, o Ozrabalia, whatever the, uh, I believe he plays for Real Madrid. So, um, mate, if it's Real Madrid, it's Real Sociedad. So one of them, anyway, but who cares? He doesn't play for us, and <laughs> he scored a goal against us, so that's all I'm worried about. Right, here we go. Can we respond then in timely fashion, a.k.a. straight away? It's Lewis Ferguson. Ball out to Andy Robertson. Robertson to him again. Back to Robertson. This is good play, though, and we've created something new. It's Andy Robertson. Andy Robertson looking for... That's awful. Honest to fuck, man, that's terrible. What's the point even getting that far forward if you're just going to deliver an absolutely woeful cross like that? Seriously, what was he playing at? Andy Robertson, you absolute tool. You waste of fucking space. And now it's Morata. Good block, though, for McKenna. Uh, ball now to Lewis Ferguson. Ferguson, oh, he finds McGinn. And now it's Andy Robertson again. And Andy Robertson's in a lot of space. Can he go this time? He's trying to get past Laporte. Robertson should score here. He must score. Oh! Andy Robertson, he's no waste of space. He's our captain. He's our saviour. He's the greatest man to ever walk in Scotland, apart from William Wallace. And if I've ever met him on the streets, I would buy him a pint of Iron Brew. Andy Robertson then, getting the equaliser here for Scotland. You love to see it. It is Scotland 1, Spain 1. Brilliant stuff. 
fantastic. 28 minutes, so happy with that. We weren't behind for long. We were not behind for long. And now we need to make sure we get in front. So the game is not over by any means, you know. We've done the hard part, we've got back in front, but now we need to do the even harder part, and that is score a second goal against our Spanish opponent. It's got Pedri now. Rodri. So many players capable of... Oh, that's a great tackle for Jack Henry, to be fair. Brilliant. And now we've got McGinn. It's Lyndon Dykes. Lyndon Dykes now looking for McGinn over the top. McGinn's going to try and head it on towards... Wait, it's not even McGinn. It's Christie in the middle, but good enough. And now McGinn, if he can find Christie back post, it's a dangerous looking ball. And Christie was there, but he couldn't stick his wee head on it. Unfortunately, in Spain, get ready at Morata. Manages to hold on to that for now. And this could be ass pass through. This is dangerous, but oh, yeah, Kieran Tierney there getting back. Or Andy Robertson even. Good stuff. Sander Clark, ball out to Robertson again. Robertson trying to flick it to Tierney. And that's a mistake for Andy Robertson. He may have got the goal, but he has conceded a corner here. And Spain will be dangerous. Spain will be looking to do something with it. And speaking of doing something with it, Spain are looking very good here. Blocked. Another block. Can we get another block on this? Oh, another block. We're blocking machines here at the moment. Ferguson will blast it forward. It's 1-1. At the break, we are blocking Spain like a crazy X at the moment. They can't seem to get through with our DMs. And hopefully, we can keep it going, guys, in the second half. We've had one shot, and at the moment, that one shot is enough to give us a 1-1 draw at the break. So I'm happy with that. Can we keep it going? Let's find out. Second half coming up. It's from the Stadion Olympico, but you know what? This is good enough. It doesn't really look like Hamden, but it's got the running pitch. What mail do you want? What mail do you want? Hamden's a shite hole anyway, so maybe it's better. If the stadium's not exactly like Hamden. But I tell you what. We've just allowed him to get through here. Hickey, you need to do better than that. And this could be dangerous. It is very dangerous. Oh, for God's sake. And it's this man again. <laughs> can, can, can someone can, can someone not score whose name I can at least pronounce seriously? Why is it this guy? Oria Zabalia. Fuck him. I don't like him. Number 11. I'm going to call him the prick wearing number 11. That's his name, in my opinion, from now on. The prick wearing number 11. And he scored to give Spain a lead here. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a red! Red. Has to be a red. That's a leg breaker. Ferguson's been... I mean, Ferguson came on for the injured Jack, and now we're going to have to bring someone on for the dead Ferguson. Thank God for that. Referee sends... Oh, he gives Pedri a second yellow, but let's be honest, that's a straight red. That's a fucking horrendous tackle. I actually cannot believe that. That's murder. Absolutely, there's been a murder, and it's been on Lewis Ferguson, so, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's disgraceful, and I'm just glad that the man has been rightfully sent off, McGinn now, Dykes, lays it off to Aaron Hickey, Scotland, producing blue shots, producing bodies forward, it's McGregor, back post, oh, the shot though, hit straight at Kepa, tell you what, may not get a better chance than that, and that's a brilliant opportunity there, and we just could not take it. Now it's balls out to Ozerbal again. He's looking for a hat trick here. Maybe we should snap him, two foot him. He's got the ball once more. Spain passing about, Spain looking. Um, would a third goal finish it? I don't know. Let's not let's not find that out. Let's make sure they don't get it right. Here we go. Can we counter? Let's do this. Ball played out to Dykes. Dykes through to Christie. Christie's left himself on side. Ryan Christie! Go Oh man, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? I'm bringing on Jordan Brown or Jacob Brown. I've no idea who he is. I've no idea if he's any good. But I'm bringing on Jacob Brown because Ryan Christie, you, you just can't miss chances like that. I'm sorry. Marino. He's looking for ass pass again. McKenna, you need to get to that. McKenna doesn't get to it. It's through. Oh. Toe poking it away at the last second. Right, brown now. My pants were almost brown there when I thought they were about to make that a third goal. Come on, here we go. Jacob Brown again. Brown through to Ferguson. Ferguson's on side. Lewis Ferguson. Oh, he's got the corner. Oh, we'll take it. We're going to bring on Billy Gilmore for, um, for uh, Callum McGregor. We're making the changes. We're going for it. We're trying. We're desperate. We're looking for the equaliser. McGinn. Ball in. Dykes is there. Gilmore. Heads it down. It's Kieran Tierney. From distance. Oh! Oh! That was in! That was in! No fucking way, man. How's that no in? 
And on the Dykes goes down and the referee grab. I mean, the goalkeeper grabs it. How's that not a goal, man? Seriously. Oh, I, I don't believe that's no win. I do not believe that's not an in. I actually cannot believe that. That's fucking, ah, oh, man. Unbelievable. Right, a game. We're getting forward, Dykes. Out to Hickey. We've got seven minutes to go. Hickey, no. We need to get bodies in the box. Is that a Hickey? We win another corner. It's another chance. Right. Here we go again. It's going to be John McGinn. Delivery here needs to be on point, and it's not great, but Gilly, Billy Gilmore will get to it. He's played it back out to John McGinn. McGinn outside the boot, and it's just not good enough. It's not to a Scotland player, and we'll get it back, though. Scott McKenna, good challenge. Ah, oh, but he can't do that. It's Jacob Brown losing it, and um, that might be it. It's, yeah, time's pretty much almost up here. Oh, good interception. Come on. Time will be up. We need to make this count as Brown. Oh, Brown's lost again, but Dykes picks it up. Dykes is not offside. Oh, how can the referee blow it? How can the referee blow it? That's embarrassing, man. I hate these cheating referees. Look, we've lost guys by two goals to one, but that was actually a good game. You know, I think we could have got something out of that. Twice in the second half, we came really, really close to equalising, but we couldn't do it. I mean, if Scotland lost 2-1 tonight, I would be disappointed to lose, but on it, Based on your performance, we recommend professional. Fuck that shit, man. I am an ultimate player. Don't don't disrespect me with this professional shit. I'll jump through the TV screen and I'll show you a professional beatdown, EA Sports. You got that? Anyway, guys, that's it. Scotland 1, Spain 2. Hopefully, I would take that scoreline tonight as long as it's in the other way around. As long as Scotland get the win. So, yeah, looking forward to tonight's match, guys. I'll probably do a match review. I say probably. I will do a match review on my other channel. Son of Scotland TV, so make sure you subscribe to that. The match review will be out after the game, and I am looking forward to it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.